Okay, 8.2 says it has been hypothesized that silicone breast implants cause illness. In one study, it was found that women with implants were more likely to smoke, to be heavy drinkers, to use hair dye, and to have an abortion than were women in a comparison group who did not have implants. Use the language of statistics to explain why this study cast doubt on claim that implants cause illness. So, um, do, uh, do implants cause illness? Um, we cannot say, all right? Um, what the study shows is that uh, the implants, implants variable is confounded with the other variables. Uh, in this case, those other variables were smoking, drinking, uh, hair dye, and abortion, okay? Okay, so any of those variables uh, could be contributing to um, whether people, uh, whether uh, people get illness or not, okay? Or there could even be a lurking variable behind something that causes someone to be more likely to cause, um, get implants and more likely to be smokers, drinkers, hair dyes, or abortion. So perhaps um, maybe, um, yeah, maybe there's a, a lurking variable like uh, self-image or um, anxiety or things like that that will make someone more likely to get implants that also make them more likely to get, be smokers, drinkers, or, or whatnot, and also sick in that case. Or perhaps uh, one of these is uh, the true cause of the illness or whatnot. So uh, in the language of statistics, um, implants is confounded with these other uh, variables. Okay. And 8.3 says, uh, what is the explanatory variable? And that is uh, whether someone has implants or not. Okay. Part B says, uh, what is the response variable? Response is their health or whether someone is sick or not uh, or uh, has illness or not. So we are interested in using implants as an explanation for someone's health, okay, which may or may not be um, correct uh, depending on uh, whether we control or not uh, for the other variables or not. And the observational units, uh, units are uh, the persons being studied, okay? So these would be um, either women who have implants or women who do not have implants. Uh, of course, we would um, be uh, comparing um, women to women instead of uh, trying to compare women to men.